this is a story about protecting our wonderful bay, especially the marine treasures that share their home with over 130,000 people living in the Frankston area. Most of us are amazed to find the rich diversity and colour of marine life that lives in our local waters. These remarkable marine treasures are not from Queensland, they are from our own backyard. The majority of species are endemic to our region, not found anywhere else in the world. Frankston even gets the occasional giant visitor as humpback whales migrate along our coast. A remarkable planktonic hotspot has been discovered by researchers from the Department of Environment and Primary Industries. This is the foundation of a rich food chain that supports Eastern Port Phillip's productive ecosystem. Giant balls of bait fish feed on the plankton and become food for seabirds and little penguins. This thriving food web also supports resident bottlenose and common dolphins. These amazing dolphins cooperate together to round up their prey. Common dolphins normally live in the open ocean, but moved into Eastern Port Phillip about seven years ago. This incredible ecosystem and our marine treasures are threatened by pollution we allow to enter our bay from the catchment. Some pollutants look like marine life. Others threaten to turn our bay green, like an aquarium where the filter has stopped working. It can stop us swimming, kill seagrass, and is linked to outbreaks of skin lesions on our dolphins. The problem starts in our own backyards. Banyan Reserve in Carrum Downs is a world-class answer for dealing with stormwater pollution. Drains from a huge area of urban and industrial land come together here. Melbourne Water created a thriving wetlands that is fed by stormwater and support a wide diversity of life. These wetlands also help to purify the stormwater. A gross pollution trap stops larger pollutants and rubbish from entering the wetlands. Every year over 10 tonnes of pollution is cleaned out of this trap and sent to landfill as toxic waste. I see I care ambassadors recognise items that could have come from their own streets. Pollution traps are only part of the solution and many smaller items of litter pass straight through. Fine sediments settle to the bottom but can be easily stirred up. Other pollutants such as poisons and nutrients dissolve so they aren't caught in the traps. Wetland plants help to absorb many of these substances as the stormwater filters through the system. Stormwater leaves Banyan Reserve in a much cleaner state and flows to eel race drain. Water is pumped from Patterson Lakes to maintain environmental water flows. A little further downstream, this floating pollution trap is usually full. The water then flows into Cannonook Creek and down to Seaford. Countless drains along the way funnel everything that can be washed from our streets into the creek. Approximately two kilometres from the creek's mouth, this trap is the last chance to catch pollution before it reaches the bay. Cadena Creek then flows under the Nepean Highway to Frankston. The huge drains at Beach Street add to the flow. 
Green algal growth signifies high levels of nutrient pollution. Along the way, more drains funnel runoff from the land. The water eventually reaches Port Phillip, our dolphin's home. Wherever we live and go to school, we are next to drones that all ultimately flow into the bay. The plan for a cleaner Yarra and Port Phillip Bay, an engineering solution such as rain gardens, urban lakes and litter traps, all help. But it's better to stop things from getting into the drains in the first place. We all need to work together and do better with litter, car washing detergents, garden chemicals, oil from leaking cars and dog poo which are all washed into the drains. You can help directly by joining a friends group or your school becoming an ICI Care Ambassador School. We must all be smarter. If you wouldn't like to swim in it, then don't let it get into the environment. Our resident dolphins and all the Bay's marine treasures rely on us to protect their very, very special home. Ah!